Hello, thanks for watching this video. Hope it's sustainability matters. Let's enter a new credit category: EQ or IEQ, indoor environmental quality. This is performance-oriented credit category. It contains three prerequisites and nine credits. Let me start with several important association and standard. First one is ASHRAE, A S H R A E, the American Society of Heating, Refrigerating, and Air Conditioning Engineers. Next one is C E N, European Committee for Standardization. Then E N, Euro Norms, a standard in Europe. All spaces in a building must be categorized either occupied or unoccupied. Occupied spaces we could separate it into regularly occupied and non-regularly occupied. The first one, regularly occupied, defines as more than one hour of continuous occupancy. Per person per day on average. For non-regularly occupant, means less than one hour per person per day. However, <laughs> let me give you an example from the reference guide. A computer workstation may be vacant most of the time. That means it's non-regularly occupied. But when it is occupied, maybe a worker spend one, two, five, or even more hours there. Under these circumstances, is regularly occupied because the length of the time is sufficient to affect the person's well-being. Therefore, thermal comfort and control over the environment is a must. Okay, next, unoccupied spaces. That means in active areas, only occupied occasionally and for short periods of time. For example, mechanical and electrical rooms, egress stairways, or dedicated emergency exit corridor, closet in a residence, but not a walk-in closet. Data center floor area, including a rest floor area, inactive storage area in a warehouse or distribution centers. On page five ninety nine and six hundred, this reference guide provide you many examples of both occupied and unoccupied spaces. Now let us formally start the.、Uh, EQP one, environmental quality prerequisite one. Its name is minimal indoor air quality performance. Allow me to display the structure of the content on screen. Ventilation and monitoring for both part of them, they can be separated into mechanically. And naturally ventilated spaces. Part A: Ventilation, mechanically ventilated spaces. Two options here. First option is Ashray, sixty-two point one, two thousand ten. Ventilation for acceptable indoor air quality with a rater. Or local equivalent, whichever is more stringent. The calculation must be under worst case conditions, which typically occur in the heating mode when supply air flow are lowest or supply air temperature is highest. Two key words here: <coughs> PM, two point five particular matter. MERB, M E R B, minimal efficiency reporting values.
I will mention this later in this credit category. Then option two, CEN standard, EN. If your project is not in US, you can adopt this. Next, naturally, ventilated spaces follow the Ashury 62.1. 2010 or CIBSC Applications Manual AM10 March 2005 CIBSC stands for Chartered Institution of Building Services Engineers Okay I just explained uh, Part A Ventilation Let's go to the Part B, monitoring. It's mechanically ventilated spaces, BAV and CAV. First, BAV, variable air volume systems. You must provide a direct outdoor airflow measurement device to measure the minimal outdoor air intake flow and ensure its accuracy should reach the positive or negative 10 percentage of the design minimal outdoor air flow rate. <laughs> An alarm must indicate when the outdoor air value varies by 15 percentage from the set point. For CAV, constant air volume systems, here, the reference guide only mentions CV, but I know sometimes we call it CAV, so I suggest you write down the, the air word on the reference guide. Okay, balance outdoor air flow to the design minimal outdoor air rate defined by ASHRAE 62.1 2010 or higher. Then install current transducer on the supply fan an air force switch or similar monitor device <coughs> let's go to naturally ventilated spaces some of them are the same as mechanically such as <coughs> direct outdoor air flow measurement plus or negative 10 percentage of the design minimal outdoor air flow rate alarm 50 percentage from the set point these are the same and the next part is not provide automatic indication devices on all natural ventilation openings intended to meet the minimal opening requirements and alarm must indicate when any one of the opening is closed during your occupied hours and monitor carbon dioxide for each thermal zone the monitors must be between 3 to 6 feet or 90 to 180 cm above the floor it must have an audible or visible indicator or alarm your BAS building automation system. If the sensed CO2 concentration exceeds the set point by 10 percentage and follow actually 62.1 2010 Appendix C. You may wonder why the alarm set point is 50 percentage for airflow but 10 percentage for CO2. I have no idea. <laughs> but I believe CO2 is harmful. That's why we say it 10 percentage. And there are some more requirements for different project types. For example, resident. We care about the carbon monoxide monitors. We set up each floor for each unit. And for healthcare project type, follow the HRA 170 2008 
and the 2010 FGI Facility Guidelines Institute. Okay, thanks for watching this video. Have a nice day. See you next time. Bye bye.